Hey guys, welcome back. Today's viewer question is from Mr. Black from Pacific Northwest Car Mods and Maintenance. And he wants to know a little bit more about the wrench light on his 2011 P7B. And if you don't know who that is, right now he's doing a 5-speed manual transmission swap on that car. And I'll leave a link to it down below. So I thought I would take this opportunity because this applies to all Panther cars from 2005 to 2011 Crown Vic Grand Marquis Lincoln Town Car. So the first place I went looking for information was the owner's manual. And this is from the 2011 Crown Vic and Grand Marquis. And there is what the wrench light looks like. And it says it's a powertrain malfunction indicator if equipped. Illuminates when a powertrain fault has been detected. Contact your authorized dealer as soon as possible. And then I went looking around and I found they have the same wrench light, but this is in the 2005 Lincoln Town Car owner's manual. And they refer to it as an electronic throttle control. Illuminates when the engine has defaulted to a limp home operation report the fault to a dealer at the earliest opportunity. And then I found this technical service bulletin that was issued by Ford in 2005 and it affects the 2005 Crown Vic Grand Marquis and Town Car. And it says issue some vehicles built November 2904 and prior may exhibit the wrench light with diagnostic trouble code P2106 and P2135. Action. Replace the throttle position sensor and reprogram the powertrain control module to the latest calibration. So after reading that, I realized this light, it sure sounds like a check engine light, but it's not a check engine light. So real quick, let's go over uh, what a check engine light is. So it's got three different names. Some people call it a MIL, M-I-L for malfunction indicator lamp, C-E-L for check engine light, and S-E-S for service engine soon. Uh, how complicated is that? So usually when you have a check engine light, it means four things. One, a diagnostic trouble code is set. Number two, Freeze frame data is recorded for the most severe DTC. Three, tailpipe emissions may have risen 1.5 times the federal test procedure. And four, if the, check if the check engine light is flashing, that means imminent catalyst damage. And what that means is uh, the PCM is seeing some type of misfire and it's possible raw fuel is getting past the combustion chamber and it's loading up the catalytic converter. And it only takes a few minutes of that condition to load up the cat with raw fuel to the point where it's gonna get a uh, glowing cherry red. And usually when it gets to that point, it will cause irreparable damage and you'll have to replace the unit. So, uh, if you compare that to the wrench light, uh, this is only on 2005 to 2011 Panther cars, Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car, and Police Interceptor. And in 2005, they referred to it as an electronic throttle control warning lamp. And then somewhere along the lines, it morphed into the powertrain malfunction indicator. And uh, number one, it means that there's a diagnostic trouble code that is not emission related. And number two, it may mean it's going to put the car in limp mode with reduced engine power. So I wanted to get a little bit more information from you guys. So I did a community post and I asked you guys uh, for some feedback. And I got some good feedback here. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, comment on those community posts. So I've cherry picked a few good examples here and I'd like to read them to you. Uh, so George Petroff, he's got an 05 CVPI, and he said it came on once or twice in the past six years. And he shuts off the engine and restarts it, and it goes away on its own. Uh, Big Ed from Keystone Productions, he's got an 05 Grand Marquis and a 2010 P7B. 
and they come on and they give mass airflow sensor trouble codes. Mike Laverne, he's got a 2006 Crown Vic LX and he got a wrench light and it turned out to be the neutral safety switch. And Joe John Hernandez, he got a wrench light and it came on when an electrical connector came loose on the transmission. And Mr. Black, he got a wrench light with two trouble codes for the brake pedal position switch. And David, he's got an 06 Grand Marquis, and he got a wrench light when it was negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit and went away when the car got warm. And Tin Pin, he's got an 09 Crown Vic, and his dad pressure washed the engine, and the wrench light came on, and the car went into limp, limp mode. And he ended up replacing the electronic throttle body, and the car's been fine ever since. And Michael said the wrench light comes on when there's a malfunction with the powertrain, but does not affect emissions. So let me know uh, what you guys think. Why is it in 2005 Ford decided to make uh, two engine warning lights in our Panther cars? And I'll give you a hint. It's got something to do with controller area network or CAN. And uh, I really don't like uh, that description or that name uh, because most people have never heard of CAN or Controller Area Network. I really wish they would have called it OBD 2.5 because just by saying that phrase OBD 2.5 you automatically know it's not OBD 3 but it's still going to have significant changes. And uh, without getting too technical, uh, there was three big changes with the uh, controller area network. Number one, it increases the data speed and how much data can be transferred uh, quickly. So that's good. And number two, it increases the communication between the different modules in the car, like the PCM, the transmission module, the driver door module, the lighting control module, and uh, any other modules in the car. And number three, it can reduce the amount of wire that they have to run in the car. And what that means is instead of running wire from the front of the car to the back of the car for one individual sensor, what they can do is they can wire that one sensor to the next sensor or to the next module and then just daisy chain it all the way back to the front of the car. Okay, uh, so that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.